everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Heather and today's game is Sons of the Forest. Now, many of you probably know that this game has been in early access since about February 2023. And I did play the game back then, but you know what? I'm a dumb dumb. I didn't know that Sons of the Forest is the second of a series with the forest being the first one. So there were elements to the story, to the storyline that I didn't quite get not to mention that this is my first exposure to a survival game. I don't feel like it really got the the most out of the gameplay, so to speak. So after I just blew through Sons of the Forest and, you know, I identified that I really liked the game, I decided to get the forest, play that through. And now since then, there's been enough updates that have happened in Sons of the Forest that um, I'm just playing the new game now. I, I've decided I wanted to play it on hard mode. I don't know if that is a bad idea or not. Maybe I'll regret it, but we'll see. We're just going to roll with it. So I'm going to go and engage with the, the laptop here, and let's just get this game started. Okay, so we landed in the forest. Let's go see how Calvin's doing. Because Fisheye is dead. I'm going to tell him to get some sticks. While he's doing that, I am going to open up these bins. Okay, so we've gotten all the bins from the crash and I found some over by the cave. Um, I think just in terms of strategy for the first couple of days... Oh, I missed one. I think... Um, Calvin and I are going to make our way to the beach and get some seagulls because I want some feathers fairly quickly. In In the background, we'll be thinking about where to put a base. Now, I don't, I'm going to kind of go on a rant here. So um, I don't necessarily think that an elaborate base is really needed for this game. I think a lot of people like to play around with that and it's something that's fun and that's what I kind of see on YouTube the most is people who are base building. I look at it more of like a place where you, you know, it's another place to easily save. Uh, mostly it's for storage because I think there's just going to be some items that I'm going to want to stockpile a little bit more so than others. Like duct tape comes to mind, rope comes to mind, although I don't think any of the shelving units actually allow you to store rope. So I do think for the developers that is something that needs to change. We need to be able to store rope. Um, and so what I'm probably going to construct, and, and I, I did this especially when I was in the forest, um, when I played hard survival mode, I built like three or four, I think, I think it was three bases where it was like pretty simple, you know, it had a bed, it had a couple of shelving units, and then there were like maybe some, um, traps and, some defense mechanisms around it just in case I stayed there for a while but ultimately like I think this game is meant to be pretty nomadic but with that being said I'm probably gonna buy or I'm probably gonna build just like a pretty simple cabin like an Uncle Ted type cabin with maybe some traps around it maybe um some of the the sticks that are spikes, you know, make some of the sticks as spikes as defense mechanisms, and then mostly just be roaming around the map. So that's kind of me getting on my rant. You're not going to get a YouTube video that is specifically about me building this elaborate base that's going to be basically like, you know, 
the vacation home in the woods or anything like that. I'm really more focused on the storyline and gameplay. And I think that's also why I wanted to start fresh again, because some more stuff has been developed into the game where it would feel kind of weird just to like drop in after I haven't played this game for a couple of months and like realize there's just all these updates and stuff like that. And in terms of updates, as I'm playing this game, there was an update actually today. And some of the updates that I've seen consist of, uh, let's see, I think there's boats now that are um, kind of just part of the props in the game. Um, so that'll be interesting to see. And there's something about Timmy in the, like the end boss, seen he like develops a mutant arm or something like that I'm trying to think of other things that i kind of remember oh the log slide came back so there's that as well i actually want to look that up i'm assuming it would be under storage utility that would that would make more sense yeah yeah so the log slide came up so that all was updated i guess yesterday's Oh God. Okay, so I think Calvin had to go all the way around the lake to meet up with me. So we'll just kind of wait for him. Nope, there he is. I'm not planning on killing the cannibals right off the bat. The AI system incorporated in this game, from what I understand, is pretty sophisticated in the sense that, like, if you start killing them the ai will be able to talk to each other somehow and let everybody know that we're essentially hostile so it that will that action will in turn make the um the cannibals hostile hostile towards you so while i'm kind of in the beginning days of this game i really plan to just gather some supplies and avoid them as much as possible but i do think by design the the muddy cannibals do seem to want to just kind of like annoy you, kind of test your pressure points, that kind of thing. Um, and so it, it won't surprise me at all if the first cannibal that I actually land up killing is one of the muddies, because it just seems like that's what they're designed to do is really just always be following you around and just get kind of annoying. But we will see. I'm going to try to hold off as long as I possibly can. But I know it's going to happen. So now that we're on this beach, I'm just going to try to get some seagulls. I don't know how abundant the animals are going to be when you're in hard mode. There's Virginia. Right now, it just seems like none of the seagulls are actually landing so I could hunt them. Hmm. I didn't know that he crouches when you do. But oh boy. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna ignore her for right now. I hear music. Oh. Some goodies here. Okay, so it's just another day. We slept through the night pretty uneventful. Um, so we're gonna kind of just stay around this cove area 
and collect food, search for a couple other supplies. One thing that I didn't really think about when it was dark out in the games last night is um, there's that raft that's out there, right there. And I believe, if my memory serves me correctly, there is a pistol in there. And so what I think I'm going to do is we'll spend a little bit of time walking around, but probably midday, if not tomorrow morning, I am going to make my way out there. Because I don't think I need the rebreather to swim to a raft. I think the only thing I need to worry about is a shark biting me. And so um, I just think since we're on hard mode, it's probably good to get some kind of weapon like a pistol right away. Um, so that's kind of the general plan. We'll see how that goes. But other than that, yeah, we're just going to keep um, walking around the map, just kind of in this general area to see what we stumble across. And looks like we already got a camp right here. Oh, oh wow, there's a mutant. Somebody is mad. Oh, hi. I'm... Dang. Huh. Well, there's nothing really here. Oh, there's another cannibal camp up ahead. I'm not going to kill any of them as far as I can say. You're going to stay hidden. But I am going to see if they have some supplies. So I'm just going to kind of like ambush them, <laughs> essentially. Ooh, these are good. These, um, I think that's horsetail. Those make some good remedies for health and stuff like that. Hi. Okay, I'm done. Thanks. I'll have to like circle back around to get Calvin because I don't think he'll move if he stays hidden. Damn, where is he? Oh, there he is. Why are you walking that way? Yeah, come on, let's go this way. You know what? I think this is one of those lookout towers. So, uh, these were in the forest along the beach and uh they were, they were pretty fun they're basically lookout towers that the cannibals made um and i don't remember these being in sons of the forest the last time i played one it was like really really in early in early access so now having played the forest it's it's kind of fun to see that they they kept one of the structures or whatever you want to call it from the original game so now I'm just going to be on the lookout for some seagulls to see if I can get some food. Either to eat now or hang it up on the dryer. Man, the seagulls are just not landing. Well, I guess I'm going to eat an MRE. Oh shit, are they eating my food?
Well, the fish is okay. Maybe that's how I could get a seagull. Hover around the drying rack and just wait for them to land and then you could spear them. <clears throat> not how I was thinking about catching the seagull, but they're just not landing. They're just flying around. Alright, there's one that just landed. Oh my god. Cool. I did that seagull kind of dirty, but uh, I'm hungry. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but you could actually um, poke the seagull twice to get some extra feathers out of it. Oh, I'm going to get you now. Man. They're just not very smart today. Feel like such an amateur hunter doing that to them. <laughs> I have like no skill at all. <laughs> I'm always interested in these little ponds that you see on the map, like that one right there. And so um, I'm gonna go check out that little pond. And I'll probably be checking out little ponds all throughout the gameplay. Um, I would just kind of assume that there there would be a bin or something like that close by so that's what that's what draws me to them there we go there's some bins somewhat close by oh god oh god what Okay, it's just some muddies. But uh, we're gonna go this way. Uh, so the next lake or pond we're gonna check out is the one that's right by that trail there. And then the sun's gonna, well, the sun's already starting to come down. I'm gonna try to swim out to that raft before it's it's dark. We are losing daylight fast. Alright, so I just saved. So I'm going to swim out to this raft now. Assuming nothing has changed, the pistol should be in there. So wish me luck. So I made it to the raft okay. Alright, I don't see... Oh, there's a shark. Okay, I'm gonna... Wait till he swims by in front of me. And I'm gonna go. Oh god, why can't I get out of here? There we go. <gasps> Shit. I think I'm dead. I don't even know where the surface is at this point. There we go. Jesus. That was lame as shit. I couldn't get out of the raft, I got stuck. And then I just like flopped down into the water and then I just, I guess I just like dove really deep. Well, I got bit, but only minor damage. Not too bad. I thought he was going to take another chunk out of me or something. Alright, so we have some food drying. But I really feel like we've kind of explored the general area 
of this beach. So I think Calvin and I, we're gonna continue to walk along the beach further into the map. And we'll probably just circle back. So probably within a couple of days, we'll be back here again to pick up the food after it's dried. I believe the food does take a couple of days to dry. I just don't think it's worth hanging out around here waiting for it to dry. I guess that's another incentive to also build a base too, is you could stockpile your food that way. But yeah, we're just, we're not gonna wait around for it. I don't, I'm not really interested to see what else is around here, but I'm taking it easy on ourselves the first couple of days. It seems like the beach, generally speaking, doesn't have a whole lot of cannibal activity. And so we're, gonna play it safe for a couple of days. So this is Shatner. You can just barely see his his face and everything, but he's our little black kitty. Shatner got his pets. We're good to go. And now we can play this game uninterrupted by my kitty cat. I don't mind the interruption. I just realized I'm a little bit of a dum-dum because tomorrow morning I am going to be incredibly hungry and I didn't take any food with me. I think I maybe have an MRE and like one of those bars and that's it. Unless there lands up being some seagulls that I could kill, then um, I might be in a little bit of jam. Maybe I'll just ask, um, I'll ask Kelvin to get me a fish or something. But... I don't know, it's really dark, so this is a nice spot to maybe just sleep for the night. Call it a day. see if you could get me a fish. No, it's not even an option. Shoot. I swear to god I saw fish when I was swimming. See there's one. I was gonna say there were fish when I was swimming to that raft. There's gotta be fish here. It might just be too deep. Maybe we'll go up to that lake that I see there on the map. Just uh, off of this trail that's coming up. Oh, that was fast. Give me another one. Please. And then let's build the fire, maybe overlooking the ocean. It's a good one spot. up here.
Thank you. He does not need to get me another fish. All good. All right, give me one more. Cool, thank you. Follow me. You guys see this? This is just a bottle just kind of hovering. <laughs> Super annoying. Okay, I'm gonna see what I can make with some rope so I could use up my inventory and collect more rope as a result. So Tool let's be one. And unless I picked up a random skull, I don't think I have any, do I? Oh, I did pick up a skull. What do you know? So I can make that club. So, the Night V, or the Night 5, this uh, came in the game, I think, like two or three updates ago. And depending on who you talk to, it's completely unnecessary and kind of dumb. <laughs> I'm already sucking at this. For others, they think it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Let's just try it out. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Well, so one thing I could say already is, <laughs> is steering it is kind of hard. Like I kind of wish your pan was what steers it instead of hitting A and D on my keyboard because um, if you're able to pan and also hit A and D to steer, it kind of makes the alignment feel a little off. Like I never, like I feel like I don't really know which way is totally straight when I'm panning and also steering with A and D. Um, I believe it's Borderlands. Uh, has a lot of vehicles in in that game and I think when you pan you're just that's how you navigate the the car or whatever it is that you're driving and I do kind of like that system a little bit that said I don't I don't think I hate it but I also recognize that um, I kind of suck at it right away and I don't really know if I want to spend more time playing around with it but it does look like I thought I saw more on the map. Maybe I was imagining that. Maybe I just saw the caves instead. 
So anyways, I thought there were more on the map, but I'll know where to find this one then, I guess. I was gonna say if there's more on the map, then maybe, um, you know, I'll find one somewhere else that will, will be useful to me. What the fuck am I hearing? Oh, I think that was maybe just Kelvin. I th oh no, 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 there's a cannibal right there. I'm not crazy. Okay, we're gonna... Maybe I will uh, use a snipey to get the hell away from here. Where'd it go? I don't want any trouble, gentlemen. Yeah, I just can't steer this thing. Oh, I'm still on it. Well, this is fun. When you got an unobstructed, you know, pathway. <laughs> Okay, so I'm playing in my basement and it is cold in here. Even though we're like in spring summer right now, it's still very, very cold and I kind of reached my limit of how much I could tolerate. So I turned on the heater. I'm hoping it's not gonna ruin the audio. It should be low enough and I'm hoping I could possibly edit it out, but otherwise I'm sorry. That is why all of a sudden uh, some noise kind of came into the background. So one thing I do remember on this part of the map is the machete is like right over there. So I'm gonna go and grab that. And then I think we're gonna actually get into the, back into the forest a little bit. Although I don't know what time is it right now. We'll see. Usually around 14 o'clock, I'm like, uh, it's gonna get dark really quick and I don't know if I want to necessarily like run into any conflicts because then I'll just be like battling cannibals at night and I don't really want to do that. Okay, so we are by some fresh water and I'm going to try to work this um, cooking pot. Um, if it's anything like the forest, you go ahead and you make a fire and then I think you take your pot and you fill it up with water. Yeah. And then you should just be able to put it right. Oh, that's not working. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now. Oh, now you can make some recipes. So I could put meat in there, I guess. I don't have like anything to make a complete recipe, but that's how you would go about it. I think now it's just <laughs> it's just full in my backpack. Well, I'm just gonna drink it, sure. Oh, that's cool. It's almost like um, that flask that you could get. It holds water and then you could drink it. Even though 
in reality, I would never have a full pot of water in my backpack, but that's fine. For the purposes of this game, I can let that go. <laughs> somewhere else. There's cannibals over here, so I'm gonna go closer to the beach. Gosh, look at that view. Oh, it's so weird to see a muddy that's like here on the beach. Alright, so I think we're going to head down some trails and make our way back to the beach where that raft is, where we got the pistol, pick up some food, and then of course we'll be thinking about some place to set up, um, a cap for good storage and things like that. I think we're pretty good in terms of supplies go. We're pretty stocked up, like we're finding rope and pills and we're not ever able to collect anymore because we're all full so I think um, we're going to just now really start looking for a spot that we feel like is pretty good to build a base and like I said in the beginning of the episode I think this is this video while this is recording is going to be the same episode but um, at least the very beginning of, of this adventure I said that I'm not really into building anything that's like super elaborate it basically is going to be a cute little cabin with a couple of shelving units and a cabinet just really mainly to to store a lot of extra stuff that being said i still think the criteria to establish a base is going to be the same across the board right like we're going to want to make sure hold on i see a guy up there i'm just going to finish my rant we're going to make sure or that there's not a whole lot of cannibal activity there's not like a big base nearby apparently you don't want them near caves because the mutants will spawn more often if you're by a cave and you know, we want it close to water and we kind of want to be able to gauge whether or not there's a lot of animals in the area so i think that's like the main criteria that we'll be looking for and i do want to have something built before winter time um now i played the forest on hard survival mode and what i do remember is there wasn't winter in that game that like the game didn't have seasons it was basically just mild all throughout just rainy every once in a while but if you got wet and if it was dark um you would start to get really cold and like your screen would just start to freeze out and you wouldn't be able to see as well it zaps away your stamina and then it can actually take your health away and get hits from it and I just remember so many times when I was playing that game, I would be exploring at night, it'd start raining, i get super cold, and then like all these cannibals would be around and surrounding me and stuff like that. So I don't really know how the winter mechanics work with Sons of the Forest on hard mode, but I would think that if they're not doing it now, it might be in an update where it becomes increasingly harder to like keep pushing on and moving around. And you might just want to stay put and stay warm, you know, wait it out essentially. So that's kind of the reason why, another reason why I want to have a base just in case I need to stay somewhere that's relatively safe um, with the fire 
during the winter because the cold might affect stamina, health, that kind of thing. So, anyways, that's kind of like our goal. That's that. There's a cannibal that is up ahead with something interesting in his hand, so I'm kind of curious to see what that is, but again, I'm probably not going to really engage with him. <laughs> oh. Huh. I don't even know really what that is. I really want to go up there, though. You could sit in that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, hi, dude. Look at this guy just spying on me. some bone armor since I got enough bones and I need rope and there's a ton of rope there already so I can replenish my supply that I use up So I want to say something about the Devil's Club. If you eat it, and I've already eaten it, it's poisonous. But you can mix it with chicory and this fireweed to make an energy mix. So I just thought that was kind of interesting that you can't eat it by itself. That's dangerous, but you can mix it to make an energy drink. I kind of found that out on accident. It ended up being stuff that I edited out, but like... If I um, hadn't collected it before knowing it was poisonous, then I never would have. I would have avoided it completely just because I ate it. It was poisonous, therefore I didn't think you should collect it at all. So I don't know if anybody else noticed that, but that's all I got to say about that. I need a shovel for this, right? That's what I was always under the impression. But usually you also see like a, a shovel symbol show up. Oh, hi. Like, I'm right on that, right? Like, I need a shovel. Because this is our point of interest right here. Usually when you're looking at a place where you need a shovel, you could like see an outline of a shovel. So that's what's confusing me. Unless that was something that was made in the update, I, I guess I'll just have to come back because the only thing that I could think of doing is you yeah, have to dig. And I don't really want to be sticking around with those muddies just all around.
Hi. Hmm. Oh, hello. I'm still not interested. Oh, look at this. There's ducks. <laughs> the thing just took off. Like, it's so weird. Let's see if he'll do it again. Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh god. Let's see if there's anything on this island. I think some of those muddies just drowned themselves right there. Oh god, that scared me. I think these guys just drowned themselves. Yeah. Three. Three of them drowned themselves. Let's see if I could get one of them. I do think the animation's kind of cool because you could tell that they're like losing their water, the fat is melting. Like, that is some cool ass animation. Where's Kelvin? in the water. Hey, let's get out of here. Let's see how he gets out of the water. Is he just forever going to be in the water? There he is. Okay.
Okay. So I kind of like this spot. So off the bat, here's why. Um, what is that there? It's yellow. It's... So aside from up there, we don't really have trails where cannibals are going to be traveling and stuff like that. It's by water. This is like immediately super steep. So I like that part about it. I believe... Well, I haven't seen that much animal activity, but I have a feeling that there's probably some pretty, pretty good activity, especially since we're pretty close to um, where we landed by the cave. I also like where it is just generally located on the map. It's kind of by a lot of the caves. We're just going to use the rest of the time to maybe walk around the area and see if you know, there's a lot of cannibal activity. Is there a cannibal camp that's really close by? Maybe we'll get another feel for, you know, the wildlife that is in the area. But yeah, let's just walk around. Oh, there's a dead body where our water source is. Well, isn't that nice? <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna walk around a little bit. like way too dark. What does this say? Hank, you spent all this time setting up a golf course and you haven't ordered any golf clubs or balls. How are we supposed to play golf? Miles Goldstein. Oh, sweet. Can help her. What is she doing? Oh, hi. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Totally snuck up on her. All right, it looks like we're back where we're planning on building. That was kind of by accident since I can't see where the heck I'm going with this, uh, with the dark. So we'll sleep this through. We didn't run into any cannibals at all, nothing. So it's probably a pretty good candidate. Yeah, so I think we're gonna uh, set up a base in this location here. We're going to start getting with construction and spend the next couple of days building and maybe just a couple supply runs here and there. So I think I'm going to end it. Um, so I think the next episode will be us building the base. Um, like if you like, share if you feel like the video is worth sharing, and please subscribe if you're interested in watching my gameplay. So um, until then, we will see you in the next one. Okay, bye guys.